Hey, Damon D'Amico here with D'Amico Dance Company in Houston, Texas. We want you to be a better dancer faster. That's why we keep posting these videos for free. So share them with all your friends and please subscribe to our channel. That's all we ask and give us a thumbs up. Any questions that you have go a long way in the comment section below because other people get to see the questions and also comment on those and see the answers as well, okay? So I found something trending on Facebook uh, this, uh, this week, which is a guy named Simeon, uh, and I can't say his last name, and Maria. But if you just look up Simeon and Maria, uh, West Coast Swing Improvisation, this is a great little uh, uh, song that they dance to. It's Ed Sheeran's A Fire Love. And this is the kind of stuff that intermediate advanced dancers should be doing all the time. It's simple, but it's slick, and it's musical, feels good, and I, I urge you to watch the video. This is Wendy, she's gonna help me out with what we ended up doing. So they started and closed, and actually at the very beginning of the song, they did a little bit of playing around, and everybody said, no, do that part too. So oftentimes when we're standing here and the, the intro of the song comes on, everybody's too busy right away and goes right into the body of the dance instead of treating the intro like intro, which is a build up to the dance. So he just kind of stayed on the, on the spot and worked side to side. But he bent his knees a little bit and twisted and the lady went into a sit, which was really nice and comfortable. So there's, oh, that's the only trick. If you guys will bend your knees, she'll bend her knees as well and twist and she'll sit for you. Then he kept his legs kind of bent and worked back. Now I'm just kind of going off memory because this is not, and who cares? But they did something similar to this. He moved her back to her right foot, picked up this hand, gave her a casual turn and wasn't really worried about the timing. He was just really eating up intro to get to here. Then once it got started, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. He puts her on her foot so that she's prepared to go for the next part. He gives her a no hand free spin. One, two, three, and sends her away four. They stepped on five and did a ball change four and six. From here, he brings her in for a, a, a cutoff, but uh, delays the timing. So the lady does all walks right here. She goes seven, eight, one, two, three, the guy did an and four, so he did a press line when he went here. So he went seven, a one, two, three, and four across. From here, he brings her in for a little redirect for five, six. He goes five, six, treat it like a triple, seven, and eight. As the lady goes back to anchor, he drags her sideways with him for a one and two grapevine. Cool little thing that he did there. From there, he brings the lady in um, to behind his back for a three, four. It goes like this three, four, lead it like a whip. He traps her with the right arm. He takes his left arm up. She comes around and underneath the arm, and he reaches out and takes that cross hand, and that finishes seven, eight, seven, and eight for the lady. So this goes three, four, five, six. He does a seven, eight. She does a seven and eight. From here, he did a pull through whip beginning on a one. They went one, two, three, and four, five, six, spinner, seven, touch her back, eight, and he went away for one and two which was really cool, and he brought the lady in, and he ended up doing this real cool other sequence that you can learn on your own. Maybe we pick it up next week. So let's talk about the finer points. Um, in talking to our more advanced students here, the question still arises, how do we get the lady to recognize she's still gonna do a triple as compared to doing single timing? Because these redirects, oftentimes the guys are a little iffy as to how they're leading it, right? So ladies, you should always plan on doing a triple step on the three and four of any pattern. So if the guy wants you to go out in normal time, you're prepared to do that. So the normal time, that'd be one, two, three, and four, five, and six, which would be normal. When the song is fast and I'm trying to get to another piece of music, I'll oftentimes use that normal timing uh, where it's just triple, triple. Lately, everybody got into this real swirly bird stuff, which is great when it hits the music, but the music says go fast and now everybody's just stuck on this version. The only problem is in this version is that most guys aren't aware enough of when they're coming out on time or off time and the ladies aren't either. So this ends up being kind of a train wreck and the girl goes, uh, should I anchor or not anchor, take a single step or what, what is it? So I would just tell you guys that if you don't want the lady to do a triple, then you don't bounce her off the first step of the triple. So walk, walk, instead of redirecting her, I let her stay on the foot. If that was going to be a triple, I'd bounce her off immediately. She'd get on it and know right away that I wanted her to get off. So this sequence has both of those things in it. So on the second pattern, he does a seven, eight. Seven, eight lets her have a whole count. One, two, three, four. There's no anchor for the lady there. From there, he then brings her in for this redirect, but he does give her a triple this time, so he bounces her off of the seven. So it goes five, six, bounce her seven and eight over one and two. Then again, he goes behind the back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the pull through whip, it's very important on this that you ladies Anticipate getting a walk, walk on your five, six, because that's normal eight count timing. And it gives the guy the chance to lead this variation at the end. So it goes one, two, three, and four, walk, five, walk, six, triple, seven, eight. And the guy goes down the slot 
for one and two back and up. I'm gonna do this from the other side. Guys, you're doing four walks in the middle. One, two, three, and four. Walk, 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 triple step the one and two. Ladies, you're doing more of a five, six, seven, and eight step one, hold two. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. She goes one and kind of hangs out on the video. He gets down to the two and brings her out for the three. And that's what we did in the class. Thank you very much, Winnie. You guys make sure you subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. 